What is this? It's got speakers in the ears. They're like the happiest monitor on earth. This is an actual Disney product? A little while back, I put out a cash bounty on some PCs from the late 90s with Hot Wheels or Barbie branding. And we actually did get our hands on one and had a ton of fun with it. And then one thing led to another and we ended up here. Thanks to one of our viewers and my now considerably lighter wallet, I am delighted to have my hands on another kid-themed family PC from my childhood. Meet the Disney Dream Desk PC and the original accessories that came with it. It's full of fun and magic for the whole family. Ridge Wallet is celebrating the eighth anniversary of their successful Kickstarter campaign and launch of RidgeWallet.com. So get 15% off site-wide at RidgeWallet.com slash Linus. The system was released in 2004 exclusively through now defunct electronics retailer CompUSA with the tower itself retailing for $5.99 and the monitor running you an additional $2.99. There was also a pretty compelling bundle with a printer, stylus, and game controller that could be tacked on for 50 bucks as long as they were purchased with the rest of the system. Like with the Hot Wheels PC, this product had a narrow target market at best because although home PCs were certainly widespread by the early to mid 2000s, families still typically had just one computer to share. So unless mom or dad was an avid Fantasia fan or something, it was a pretty tough sell. Disney's president said it himself. With the launch of the Disney Dream Desk, a computer designed with kids in mind, we've developed a toolbox for children to unleash their imaginations and expand their minds. Some big brain mind expansion certainly took place designing this mouse, I can tell you ladies and gentlemen that much. That is not, no, that is not ergonomic. <laughs> How's the stylus pen going here? There we go. go. Oh, got wow. Got my game controller. Definitely very kid-sized game controller here. <laughs> this thing's a chungus. This is too big for me to- I'm an adult. The one thing we're missing is that there was a rear cover for cable management. And unfortunately we don't have that. Also, <clears throat> our door for the front IO is <clears throat> taped on and this is all glued together, but, but it's mostly complete. They still have this Lexmark printer from 2004 in matching blue color scheme. That's right, Brandon, we got one, the Z618. Now it's time to open it up and see what we've got here. Now, our unit had a pretty rough time in shipping. It's a little warped, but it's functional enough for us to do a quick little tear down here. Now the feet are actually built into the side panels, our front piece came off. Ah. So you can see if you take off one side panel, it sits a little crooked. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the other panel off as well. Okay, there we go. Got that Mickey ventilation. You know, this is no Mickey Mouse cooling solution, okay? Let's get a look at that front IO. You got uh, that USB universal serial bus right there. Microphone, headphone jack, look at that. Got it. Hmm. I'm. I'm actually kind of wondering if that writer was added later. That's a DVD writer. Yeah, no, this was manufactured in February, 2010. They upgraded this thing. <laughs> they were still using this thing in 2010, at least. That is a weird power supply. So you got a 92 millimeter fan that draws air in from the pretty robust Mickey Mouse ventilation system. Then it's blowing air out back into the computer. That's a little weird. And then also out the back in what looks like, that's a very unusual form factor. It's actually kind of a similar layout to some modern cases like from Corsair, you know, those double wide ones where all your storage and power is over on one side and you've got like isolated uh, cooling chambers, but then with only a standard width to work with. It's made by FSP, so it doesn't surprise me that much that it's lasted this long. One thing that didn't last was the brackets that held on the original cooler. So this was pretty common at the time. This was like a P4 style 
uh, side panel scoop. So you'd pull fresh air directly from outside because you're a bonehead and you designed your system to exhaust power supply air into the interior of the case. And this is a 478 motherboard. So socket 478 actually had these plastic things that came up around the socket. Unfortunately, they snapped off in shipping. So we just grabbed a StarTech cooler and put some zip ties on it in order to fire this thing up for you guys. RAM is another thing that appears to have been upgraded after the fact. Wow! So they had 256, they added another 256, now operating in dual channel mode, and then they added another 512 so they could have more memory. I gotta confess, I am not sure who made this motherboard. It's got kind of an MSI vibe to it, but then it's also got whatever this logo is. FIC, okay, so it's made by FIC. I mean, they managed to use capacitors that haven't leaked after all this time, so that's pretty sweet. This is a classic 20 pin ATX connector. AGP graphics, wait, was AGP current in 2004? Yeah, AGP was still a thing. Dang. Really other than the unusual power supply and motherboard though, this is bog standard commodity, oh sorry, excuse me. Top quality components such as the genuine Intel Celeron D processor 330, which delivers proven Intel technology at a great value, and three-dimensional graphics acceleration and platform technology by ATI Technologies Inc. So in other words, it's got a Radeon 9100 integrated graphics card and a CPU that was already e-waste when it rolled off the production line. In spite of these low end specs and mid range price though, a Disney rep insisted that the machines enhanced gaming abilities and incredible unmatched free software made it a compelling value. It uh, probably didn't. I'd give them a B minus for cable management. You gotta remember back in those days, it was a lot harder. I mean, the concept of putting the CPU power connector along the edge of the board hadn't really been introduced yet. So you had to run this poor thing to the center of the board. For all we know, the owner kind of screwed some of it up when they did their memory upgrade. Oh, I almost didn't even look at storage. 40 gigabytes. Look, look, it's a Mickey Mouse power cord. Mickey, Mickey Mouse power cord. Nobody laughs at my jokes. I'm, I'm hyper focused on the important act of plugging things in, Mr. Linus. Fine. This is what you're paying me for, to plug things in. Yeah, well, clearly I didn't pay you enough to get a cable for the printer that obviously we need to make sure works because it's there's no power supply in it. Yeah. Well, that's okay. You know what? It still completes the experience for me, so. Yay! Oh. Okay, our Zoomer new writer is okay. like, so I had a hard time getting any audio work. Can I go, did you plug in an audio cable? This don't carry no audio. <laughs> These young kids today, Brandon. That's actually pretty cool. It has a laid up Disney logo at the top and then it has its own like Disney Mickey Mouse splash screen. Is there not a surface for this to, you just kind of wing wang it? Oh man, how I've missed that welcome screen. This is very time capsule-y feeling. I mean, even down to enthusiast programs like Core Temp. Remember Core Temp? I half expect to find Speed Fan on here. Hold on, I got a search using the search here. You know, I was knocking it before, but this mouse is actually surprisingly usable with that claw grip. It's a gaming mouse for gamers. Now, obviously Disney had no firsthand experience building computers. So like many brand owners, they enlisted a company called Frog Design to design this whole system. And then for manufacturing, they partnered with Medion, a German company that specialized in private label systems, which was later acquired by Lenovo in 2011. Now, one of their selling points on their post was that the system had an ergonomically designed kid-sized mouse. Although as we talked about earlier in practice, the ergonomics are questionable at best. It's definitely kid size though, just like our mini CPU pillow from LTTstore.com. So cute. But while the hardware selling points fall apart under even moderate scrutiny, there's still room for the software to impress us. It comes then with a suite of protection tools for blocking spam sites and emails via content watch, which means that parents will enjoy peace of mind Boring. By the way, no amount of internet protection makes browsing with an XP machine a good idea these days. Besides, you know that any kid asking for one of these for Christmas only cared about the games. Disney's extremely goofy skateboarding? <laughs> oh. 
loading. Look at these. These are real three-dimensional graphics. They truly are. Wait, I don't have any audio. Why don't I have any audio? Look at that, you got built-in media controls, baby! I can't believe I didn't take a closer look at this thing. Disney.com, of course, you need a dedicated button for that and parental control button. Thanks a lot, Disney. Eject. Oh, it wakes. Oh, I, oh. Is it done now? Nope. <laughs> Choose what sure. type of game you want to play. Shred tech session. I think we're going to have to go for a shred session. Oh, well, that's looking pretty good. Okay, here we go. Okay. You know, I got to give credit for the quality of the sound effects. Like, those are some legit sounding skateboarding sounds. Oh, oh, I got to grind this. Oh, <laughs> he's okay. Okay, I'm um, going in the skate park pipe. Okay, I did a kickflip. <laughs> the great thing about Goofy being my character is that he looks exactly as awkward as I feel playing this game. I mean, it's no Tony Hawk Pro Skater, you know, but what is? Oh no! Uh, okay. I don't know if I'm convinced about the educational value here. What's definitely educational though is Disney's Adventures in Typing with Timon and Pumbaa. Wow, you can tell that game title went through four different corporate product titling committees for approval. Let's see if this one's any good. I am Linus. I actually have no idea what's going on right now. Am I supposed to bop them or something? We gotta find us some real food around here. That's great, they pulled these sound bites straight out of the movie. I'm gonna slay this thing. There's no penalty for missing, so you can kind of game this one. Oh, it does record the misses! Ah! My accuracy is 5%. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Can you, okay, can you quit the lesson? Can you, okay, next lesson. No, that's lesson one. See you later. The Disney themed Mahjong game has unfortunately been removed. Anyway, who wants Mahjong when you've got a 14 day free membership to Toontown Online? Unfortunately, we definitely can't test that one since the service was discontinued in September of 2013, is what I would say if a fan community hadn't reanimated its corpse with a downloadable launcher and community run servers. Now we have no idea if this thing is safe to install or use and our antivirus at the office was not very happy about it, but just for you guys, we got some footage of it anyway. It's in a nutshell, an MMO built for people of all ages where you create a character and then roam around collecting gags to defeat cogs, which are basically the big scary corporate people who are trying to take over Toontown. It is, in a word, shockingly active for an MMO that came out almost 20 years ago. It's more than one word, but that's okay because we have another fun thing to try out. Disney also emphasized the value of some non-gaming software they included on the system. Disney Flix, Disney Pix, and Disney Mix, which were aimed at letting kids create their own drawings, pictures, and movies. Now we do have Pix here to try out. So, okay, so it just works on like any surface. You hold it above the surface. It's got a little optical sensor in the end of it. I just gotta get an eraser here, cause I, I got a happy little accident. What is the difference between the pencil eraser and the regular eraser? You know what? This is kind of hopeless and I suck at drawing anyway. So let's bring in our resident zoomer to see what she makes of this. You got, okay, we got like a grade. A pen. This is painful. Can I not, can I, thank you. Do I, I can like select a. <laughs> Oh, this is artistry, I'm Vincent Van Gogh. Oh, it's beautiful. Why is the first thing you draw always nipples? <laughs> <laughs> How would you 
describe the quality of the tracking? Oh man, this beats out any drawing tablet I've ever used. It just knows where I am. It, it, it's so good. I love it. Oh, you can pick colors. I could make a brown poop, but instead I didn't because I didn't know. The tools in this are clearly endless. The possibilities, they're open. Okay, what is this? Can I do like a, what is that noise? <laughs> when your mom doesn't let you go to the bathroom. <laughs> We're gonna make like a nice little art piece here. We're gonna choose some like orange. Is this a German flag? Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this ocean water. It's a sunset. Oh, shit. look, you can get like little splashes. Oh yeah, see, now this is really going in depth. I feel like if I was five, this would have been the coolest thing ever. There was nothing like this when I was five. This came out well, when you were five. Well, I didn't have it, so. <laughs> in my kid mind, there was nothing like this when I was five. There was printer paper and pens. No, no, this was a thing. It was just for people whose parents loved them. It's fine. I'm just gonna go back into my happy place. It has like scenes and stuff. Oh, I would have loved this. Do you wanna, do you wanna do something there, bud, bud, like? Okay, so your review as five-year-old Madison. Oh, I did it. <laughs> oh my God, I love it so much. Can I play on the, the computer after dinner, mom, please? I wanna do on Mickey Mouse, and I wanna play in the beach, and I wanna pretend to be a pirate. Okay, uh. I would have cried if this got taken away from me. So there you have it. The Disney PC gets the child seal of approval. Not for its cold, unfeeling plastic and metal heart, but for its cartoon soul. I mean, yeah, even for its time, the specs were not particularly impressive, but it certainly had its charms. And when you consider the software package, the value was pretty compelling. I sound like a Disney representative. Look, it doesn't matter. The point is, if you were savvy enough to buy one, I can assure you that it's worth more now than your, the faster and better compact presario that your neighbor kids used to rub in your face. PDF Element offers one of the easiest ways to create, edit, convert, and annotate forms and documents. It allows you to convert PDF files to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and even HTML and JPEG, and effortlessly edit PDFs as if they were a normal Word document. If you have multiple documents to organize, you can use PDF Element to combine them into a single PDF, and PDF Element also allows you to create a PDF password that will grant permissions for editing, printing, and modification of your PDFs. You can add certified digital signatures to help recipients validate document authenticity and integrity, and it's available on Windows, macOS, iOS, and Android. LTT viewers, those of them still alive, can get 50% off PDF Element by clicking the link below. Are you guys okay? If you guys enjoyed this video, don't miss the Hot Wheels PC video where my kids actually tried some of the classic games that came with that one. I think they would have actually liked this one better. Like I was all ready to crap on this thing, but the software package, it really does, you know, whatever the Disney guy said, it does do that, did that thing, did do it. <laughs>